Konnichiwa, Rasaru desu. It's been a while since I did a talkie. Uh, I'm not sure when the last time I vlogged was, but I've been sort of focusing this year. Oh, it's, what is it, February 12th, 2018 today? Um, yeah, this year I've been, oh, actually for a while now I guess, I've been making kind of videos using my drone and trying to edit together more kind of cinematic, less vloggy stuff and more like produced videos. Um, I don't know, just a new thing to try. I've been in Osaka now for just over a year. I'm currently teaching at an international school here in Osaka, um, which is fun, good fun. I'm teaching science, which is a new challenge for me and it's been really good. Currently I'm teaching um, a couple of topics on planet Earth, sky, science, like what you can see in the sky, the sun, the moon, the planets, the stars, and uh, also to the grade eight nines, I've been teaching about light. All those topics kind of combined, coincidentally, nicely, on a astronomical event that occurred about two weeks ago was a full moon, which happens every four weeks roughly. Uh, but this time it was a special occasion because um, the full moon, so the full moon occurs when the moon is uh, like on the opposite side of the earth from the sun. So the sun is shining on that face of the moon and from the earth's perspective, the sun is behind at night. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's nighttime, so the sun will be behind you. Um, on the other side of the earth in their daytime and you're looking at the moon directly and it's fully lit by the sun so that's the full moon and that happens every four weeks as the moon goes around the earth there's a chance when that happens as the moon goes around that side of the earth that it could go into the shadow of the earth which means it's like directly aligned so the sun is behind the earth and the moon goes right behind right into the shadow of the earth that doesn't happen usually usually the moon goes a little bit above or below the shadow sometimes it clips the shadow but two weeks ago on the full moon it went straight through the shadow of the earth and that's a total lunar eclipse luckily for me being in japan um, we got a really good view of it happening this time so i was looking forward to it i was really um, excited to find you know to get a chance to see this ecl eclipse this event i wanted to try and get some photographs done so i uh, found a friend at work who has a nice long telephoto lens which actually i have here Ooh, this is a uh, 200 to 400 millimeter, that's what they call it, zoom lens, telephoto lens. This is the moon at about 5.45 p.m. So as the sun was setting, the moon rose in the opposite side of the sky. And I was a bit worried that this was going to be the, uh, the view that I would get, the best view. This was at 10 to 6 in the evening, setting up across the river. So this is the... Uh, a view of Osaka, North Osaka, the Omeda area. Um, you can see the Omeda Sky Building on the right hand side there. This is 8.20 in the evening, so it looks like a completely brightly lit full moon. Now it's entering what's called the Umbra, the center of the Earth's shadow. It started to get really cloudy, so uh, I got all these fuzzy pictures at that point. Now as it entered the Earth's shadow fully at about 10 to 10, it was completely cloudy and I couldn't see a thing but it was going to be in the centre of the shadow for about an hour so I waited outside for about 20 more minutes so by 10 past 10 it was just the clouds thinned enough, it was still cloudy but they were thin enough that you could see the, uh, uh, the moon and you could see clearly the blood moon, the red colour so as you can see from the colour it's uh, not black, it's red and that's to do with the um, refraction of the light from the sun kind of bending through the Earth's atmosphere because the atmosphere is made of gas, which is denser than the vacuum of space. So as the light enters the atmosphere, it slows down and it's refracted, it's bent slightly inwards, and like a lens, it's focused onto the moon. Because of the fact that the atmosphere of Earth scatters blue light more than red light, which is why the sky is blue, it ends up being the red light that reaches around to the, to the moon. So we all know that the moon changes shape regularly, so what's different about an eclipse? Well, as you can see here from these two pictures, when the moon is going around in its orbit, sometimes it's uh, visible from essentially the side, if you like, where the sun is shining at it from one side, and so we can see uh, a lit up side and a dark side. That happens every month as the moon goes around. An eclipse is different, an eclipse is where the moon is being lit directly from the front, and it's a full moon, but then for a maybe a couple of hours it goes through the moon, uh, Earth's shadow and it gets covered by shadow. So in both cases you get like a dark moon but for two different reasons. So do you think you can tell from these pictures which one is an eclipse and which one is just a quarter moon? The answer is to look at the shadows. When the moon is being lit from the side during an usual quarter moon on its way around the Earth then the light can't get into the uh, craters and behind the mountains on the surface of the moon which is not smooth 
So you can see these lovely shadows and these lovely craters and mountains are really pulled out by the, the shadow effect of the sun coming from the side. So if you guessed the one on the right, you were correct. And here is a picture of the moon, three pictures of the moon from the same evening, before, during, and then in the middle of the eclipse. So those are my eclipse pictures, and all I'm going to leave you with then is a time-lapse edited video that I put together to show the course of the eclipse as it went over the Osaka skyline from across the Yodogawa where I was filming. Hope you enjoy!